a renaissance for a spectacular art barn in Provincetown. Next. Cape Cast. What's going on here at the barn? What is this place? The barn was once an incredible art school. Um, it was built in 1907 by an impressionist painter named Charles Webster Hawthorne. And uh, it very quickly became a very famous school. Everyone from Norman Rockwell to Hans Hoffman spent time in here and wrote about it too. Over the years, uh, fell into disrepair. And when I saw it back in 2009, I had the thought that um, we could fix it up and restore it in some capacity to its former glories and have people come and see it. It was this barn that made Provincetown the sort of remarkable bohemian enclave that it is. This is where it all started from May 15th to June 15th, or particularly this year, May 16th to June 14th, we will have a month of activities here in the barn. Concerts and lectures and plays and storytelling, all sorts of wonderful activities here in the barn. There are a lot of fun cameos by famous people drifting in and out. So uh, you can read about how Norman Mailer, who rented the barn in 1950, 1960, well, let's put it this way. Norman Mailer wrote a book called The Naked and the Dead. This was a lot about the naked as opposed to the dead. Oh, dear. <laughs> so then, so there's that. Then there was um, there were fun stories about how Jackson Pollock got drunk in the barn and Tennessee Williams was at dances in the barn. Norman Rockwell, as a very young artist, just finding his way, was inspired in the barn. Robert De Niro Sr., who was Robert De Niro's father, he fell in love in the barn. He and his, his wife met here as students in the barn. So lots and lots of different things went on here. You can find all of the events at our website, 20summers.org. That's 20summers.org. We believe this to be the handprint of artist Henry Henschy, because up above, you can pretty much make out his signature. <laughs>